Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to go back to NF2, using a number line to explain that the numerator of a fraction represents the number of lengths of the unit fraction from zero. Today, we are going to be working with number lines to model some fractions. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of ending our number line with the number one, we are going to go past the number one. So on the first number line, we're actually going to end with the number two. So we're going to show two holes on this number line. Now on the first number line, we're going to divide it into thirds. So there's going to be three sections or three lengths between each hole. Now the first thing I need to do when I look at my whole numbers, I have zero and two, I need to think about what whole number comes between zero and two. The whole number that comes between zero and two is the number one. So I'm gonna go halfway and put the whole number one. Now how can I divide this number line into thirds? I'm gonna look at the first section and I'm going to divide it into three equal parts. Well, that didn't look exactly equal, so that's why it's good to use a pencil or a marker that you can erase. How about that? That's a little bit better. Okay, so now I have three parts here. One, two, three. Remember, I'm not looking at anything before the zero. Now I'm going to do the same thing going from one hole to two holes. I need three parts. So I need to divide this section of the line into thirds. So there we go. Now the labeling part. How can I label this number line? We know that between each set of whole numbers there are three parts. So the number line is divided into thirds. So let's start with zero thirds, then one third, two thirds. Now I already have a hole here and it makes me happy to see that three thirds fits here because I remember that three thirds is the same as a whole. Anytime the numerator and denominator are the same, that's going to give me a hole and I'm going to prove that right fast using the circle fraction. One third, two thirds, three thirds, three thirds, is the same as one whole. Now let's keep going. What would go here? After three thirds, then I have four thirds. Let's look at our circle fractions and see what four thirds would look like. Okay, here I have four thirds. Four thirds, I'm gonna slide them together. Now, what do we notice about four thirds? Four thirds is equal to one whole and one third. So another way to say four thirds is one and one third. And I'm gonna write that beside down here. So four thirds is equal to one whole and one third, because we made a whole with one left over. That's the same as four thirds, okay? Let's keep going. After four thirds comes five thirds. Okay, so this is what five thirds looks like. One, two, three, four, five thirds. So five thirds is actually equal to one and two thirds. It's going to be the same. Five thirds, five pieces that are one third is the same as one whole and two thirds. Now let's add another third because we're going one more section or one more length and that becomes six thirds. Now looking at the numerator, it's larger than the denominator and we've learned before that when the numerator is larger than the denominator, it's more than one whole. So let's go ahead and add our piece to the model and now we have six thirds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what is six thirds equal to? Six thirds is equal to two holes. 
None left over. Two holes is equal to six thirds. So if someone said, would you rather have six thirds pieces of pie or two whole pies, you would say either because they're the same. Now let's try another one. Okay, this time we're going to start with zero, of course. And we are going to end with three. Three holes. This number goes to three holes. And we're going to be partitioning or dividing or sectioning this line off in halves. So let's think about how that would look. Before we start our fraction ticks, we have to put every whole number in that's missing. What whole numbers are missing between zero and three? When we're counting, we say zero, or we don't say zero, we start at zero, and then we say one, two, three. So we need to put in the number one and the number two. Now let's see if that looks pretty pretty equally spaced, and it does. We have our number line with just our whole numbers. Now we're going to go back, and we are going to divide each whole length in half. So that would be two parts between each whole number. So we're just going to divide one time. So we divided our whole into two halves on the number line. Same thing between one and two and between two and three. Looks pretty even. So let's go now and label the fractions and let's label all the fractions, including the fractions for whole numbers. So we know that we're in halves because we see there's two lengths between zero and one. So that tells us that for every fraction, our denominator is going to be the number two. So zero halves, then this is one half, two halves, and we're happy to see that two halves is the same as a whole, so that worked out. If it didn't, we would go back and re-label um, our fractions. So then, two halves, we're going to add one more half, and that would be three halves, four halves, five halves, and six halves. Now, let's look at our models and see how this looks using our circle fractions. So first of all, we have no halves. Then we have one half, which would be right here. Then two halves, put those together, the same as one whole. Three halves, there's three halves. Guess what three halves is equal to? One and one half. One whole and one half is the same as three halves. One, two, three halves. So now let's add another half. There's four halves. If we have four halves, it's the same as two wholes. Okay? Then we have five halves. And five halves is the same as two wholes and one half. And then now we're going to have show six halves. Six halves is the same as three holes, and that matches up on the number line, so we know we have it correct. Okay, this time we're going to start with zero, end with two, and we are going to section this line off into sixths, so six lengths between each whole number, each set of whole numbers. So first of all, we're going to have to go back to our line and include the missing whole number. We're ending at 2, starting at 0. What comes, what whole number comes between 0 and 2? It's 1. So I'm going to go to the midpoint of the line and add the whole number 1. Now I have my whole numbers. I need to go back and think about the fractions. Now, if I'm sectioning this line off into sixths, there needs to be six sections between each set of whole numbers. So if I'm going to need six sections, remember how to do thirds, that's three, and then six is double three. So if I split each third, that should give me six. Let's count. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now let's do the same thing here. Between one and two, let's section it into thirds. I don't really like the way I did that one. I think it's a little uneven, so maybe it's a little better. So I have three sections, and if I divide each third, that should give me six. So let's count the sections between one and two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Now we're ready to label sixths. So zero, six, one, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, and six, six. Same as one whole. Good, we know we're on the right track. Then now our numerator is going to become larger than our denominator because we're going past one whole. Seven, six, eight, six, nine, six, ten, six, eleven, six, and twelve, six. Now let me grab the frat circle fractions and let's start looking. We have to start with zero, six, then one, six, two, six. Three, six, four, six, five, six, 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 which is the same as right here. We have a hole. Then seven, six, which is the same as one hole and one six. Eight, six, nine, six. Get those together. Ten, six, eleven, six. And 12 six. So take a look. We have 12 six here, which is exactly the same as two holes. Now, your job is to draw a number line and divide it into fourths going from zero to two. So you're going to draw a number line, start with zero, end with two holes and partition it off into fourths. So go ahead and do that. Send a picture or add your comment in the after the video telling us how you did it.